Welcome to the SG-27 Flanker. The Flanker is one of the most dominant air superiority fighters in modern day combat aviation. Equipped with powerful sensors, weapons, and a data link, it is a match for any aircraft you may encounter in DCS world. In addition to its air-to-air -air capabilities, it can also perform a secondary ground strike role with unguided bombs and rockets. Before we start to blow things up though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the heads up display, or HUD, comes to life as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that you have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right, control, and L. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left, control, and C. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. With the left engine starting, press the right control and home to start the right engine. In the center of your front dash is the RPM engine gauge with two needles. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the engine temperature gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and airbrake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. We're now ready to taxi, so slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. You're now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 20 km per hour, as indicated in the top left corner of the hub. As you taxi, use small, smooth rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. At the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. As we taxi, you can go to external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and forward slash keys. Rotate the views using the keypad directional keys. Once aligned down the runway, increase the thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs of the rudders to keep you tracking down the center line. Increase speed to 250 km per hour and then gently pull back in the controller to allow the aircraft to fly itself off the runway.
With positive climb established, raise the landing gear by pressing G. In the top right corner of the HUD is your altitude in meters. Between the altitude and speed indication is your heading tape. In the center of the HUD is the pitch and roll indication, and along the right side of the HUD is your pitch ladder and vertical velocity indication. Go ahead and raise the flaps by pressing left control and F. This concludes this lesson on starting up the SU-27, taxiing, and taking off. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key.